main fighters used in Alaska is the F-16. I've come to Ailson Air Force Base, home of the 354th Fighter Wing. The F-16 has been around for 30 years. It's constantly being upgraded, though, so proving it in Arctic conditions is vital. But what are the challenges for both pilot and aircraft when deployed in Alaska? Well, flying Alaska in the wintertime is very challenging, not only because of the cold temperatures, but the, the extreme weather that we see. Captain Matt McGilvray is an F-16 pilot with many years of experience in Arctic operations. It's what you got to wear, what you have to be trained on as far as egress goes, what our maintenance crews are fighting through, what the temperatures are, what, how long they can actually be out and be safe. What it does to the ground as far as a runway, any sort of moisture hits that runway is going to freeze instantly and, the, and, and just the temperatures at which things start to break. Rubber becomes harder, the, the oil becomes thicker because, I mean, it's negative 40, goodness, it's awful cold. There are strict rules when operating in this harsh environment if the aircraft is to remain operational. One, the hangar doors behind me. We have certain time limits that they can be open. Below zero degrees, we've got 15 minutes. So we've got 15 minutes to get the doors open, get the jet cranked up, and get it out. Negative 40 is our minimum. We will not have guys out working on the aircraft, and we will not fly if it's negative 40 or below. Because at that point, if you do have to bail out, folks are going to have to come out and get you. It's probably not a good idea to have those folks braving those elements to come out and get you. So we, we have the cutoff at negative 50. We will not fly into that area. Despite the harsh conditions, the F-16 excels in Alaska. Well, the F-16 performs incredibly here in an Arctic condition. And a lot of that's based on the engine performance in the thick air. When the engine can suck in this really dense cold air, it, it will kick it out the back and it will, uh, it will kind of sink you back in the sea a little bit. Your acceleration is better, your performance as far as your just top speed at lower altitude is better. Also with this thick air, it gives the wings something to dig into when you go into a turn. So you're allowed, you're, you can get on the G's faster. You know, the F-16 can pull up to nine G's and you can actually get there a little faster in this thick, cold air. So, uh, it's kind of sporty. I like it. <laughs> Alaska is not only a great place to live, but it's a great place to train. The terrain here is incredible. The mountains, the openness, and the airspace. We've got airspace here that is the size of Indiana. That's why Alaska is the perfect place for pilots to push their aircraft to the limit. 